So hi there, cozy friends. Um, it has been a while. Um, yeah, because I I took a break. I needed a break, and it was kind of unexpectedly. Like I was actually planning to just go on vlogging like the entire summer. I was totally ready for it until I wasn't. Like I was I was vlogging, I was editing vlogs and from one day to the next, I was like, I need a break. I just couldn't go on. I, I don't know, I was just suddenly so mentally tired. So I decided to take a break and my initial plan was to like take a break for a week or maybe two weeks. And um, that turned out into like a month, more over a month even. I've lost count. But anyway, um, I am back again because I really started missing vlogging. I started hanging out with you. Also, another reason why I haven't been vlogging at all lately uh, is not because only just, it wasn't just only because I needed a break, it's also because I've very unexpectedly adopted a cat her name is natsuki i've already told you guys all about her on instagram anyway i know that lots of you who follow me here on youtube don't necessarily follow me on instagram so you probably don't know what i'm talking about but i will make a special vlog about my cat because it is quite a story it's a special story uh, i will make a vlog on that very soon so yeah it's been it's been an interesting few weeks but it has been good it has really helped me to just sort through my thoughts and feelings and just really make me realize like what do i want with this channel and now this kind of sounds as though i'm going to be changing a whole lot of things i'm not it is probably it is just going to stay the same nothing's going to change for you i'm just like changing my mindset making it a little bit healthier i guess because but let's just I'm so sorry for the noise, uh, neighborhood kids, always noisy here. If you've been following this channel, then you know, then you know. So I apologize for any shouting, screaming you hear in the, in the background. Um, anyway, I just want to, let's just say that my mindset, let's talk about my mindset. So I am absolutely amazing at giving myself lots and lots of anxiety. And I mostly do that by just forcing myself to work too hard, way too hard. And I do that because I always feel like that I'm just not doing enough, just that I'm not working hard enough. And that is why I'm not deserving of success or whatever. But then again, what is success? But that is another question. I've been thinking a lot about these things lately, really sorting through my thoughts, like I said, um, yeah. <laughs> and I know I've already been talking about it quite a lot uh, on this channel for the past few months already. Like, you know that I was dealing with stress and other stuff. Um, and it just kind of started to become a theme. And I was like, this isn't going well. I don't want to be this kind of person. I don't want to be stressed out and anxious all the time. Which was also one of my New Year's resolutions at the start of this year. I actually made a vlog on that. It was my cozy homebody vlog, I think. Um, yeah, I was telling you guys that I wanted to be less anxious about the things I want to achieve. And that went well for a bit until I started freaking myself out again. And then I kept doing it and doing it and doing it. And I was like, this isn't going well. This isn't who I am. This this isn't who I want to be. But anyway, uh, like I said, taking some time off and just doing absolutely nothing, basically. <laughs> I've been doing lots of gaming and reading, uh, journaling too, which was very helpful to sort through all of these thoughts. Yeah, that has really, really helped. And I feel like I, yeah, I'm like in a better place now, like a calmer place. And the plan is to remain in that place and not just for the summer and not just for the few weeks after the summer. Like I want to be in this place constantly, you know, just being in, in, in a healthy mindset, basically just more relaxed and yeah, less anxious. But anyway, I, I keep repeating myself now. I think I'm getting my point across. So um, yeah, anyway. Because I'm in a better place, I really felt like uh, vlogging again. I just feel like I've got way more energy to actually film and edit and subtitle. I actually feel that it is fun again. So I'm really excited to be back. And also I really actually missed 
my interactions with you guys i mean there aren't like a whole lot of you yet but those of you who are here and who leave comments you leave such wonderful comments and i was really missing just talking to you guys about all these things and about cozy lifestyle and video games and books and so i'm really excited to be back again i really miss you guys so i'm sorry for just disappearing all of a sudden i did explain it on instagram but then again not all of you are following me on instagram as well so i actually should have made like a little video Video in which I was going to tell you guys like guys I am taking a break I'll be back but I'm taking a break but even that I just I just couldn't do it it was like I don't know I just got nauseous just thinking about having to make and edit a video especially edit a video I just I just couldn't <laughs> but I'm back and I'm glad to be back so let's get down to cozy business because that's why we are here that is the cozy hermit channel so um Let's just talk about something exciting I bought. Like, oh, by the way, yesterday I bought these really cute earrings. I'm not sure if you can see, but they're little squirrels and they're so adorable and I love them. So I'm really excited for these. Um, also, I bought something else. I bought myself a new backpack. And as you can see, it is fluffy. It is the softest bag I have ever, ever seen, ever touched, ever held, ever hugged ever worn if you wear this bag it literally feels as though you are carrying a little cloud on your back it is amazing i love it but no matter how cute it already looks i kind of felt like there was something missing so i bought these adorable pins and um well there are like i don't know 15 of them i'm not going to put all 15 on my back because i don't want to mess up like the really soft feeling of it by totally filling it with other stuff so i'm thinking about maybe three or something just like less is more right so i'm going to choose my favorites and i'm going to apply them now so let's do that together and um yeah let's do it so hard to choose but i have to say that i have lost my heart to these three because i think they look really similar in style as well so i'm definitely choosing these three um i really love this one and this one and this one's cute and this one's cute this one too but they're all cute basically but um I might just save some of them for maybe other stuff maybe like i've got a denim jacket maybe it would be cute to add one or two to that one as well but i think for my for my bag i'm going for these three so let's see let's check it out so cute so i actually redid this one and this one because i wasn't really happy with their initial places but now i'm happy and it's so cute so all that is missing i think is like a little cute keychain like a little plushy i think maybe from here somewhere that would be cute so or maybe i could hang it from here or maybe two why not two um why stop with one so yeah i'm really excited so this is really cute so anyway um that is it for today i've got some stuff to do actually i want to do some yoga my um, daily yoga I'm still doing it so um anyway i'll catch you guys in a bit on another day because this is like a messy i don't know days in my life vlog we will see where we will end up so i'll catch you guys in a bit hey Matsuki. hey Who's a pretty girl?
Okay, so I have just finished reading Spin the Dawn and it was amazing. Honestly, like when I first started reading it, uh, it is actually a book I bought from my sister and she recommended it to me. And when I first started reading it, I was like, yeah, it's pretty good. Like I was really enjoying myself. Um, but the book is like divided into three parts. And, you know, part one was like, it was fun. It was nice. It was entertaining. But that was kind of it for me. But once I reached the end of the first part, I was like, this is getting really interesting. And then part two completely blew my mind. And part three kind of broke my heart. It was amazing. Seriously, cannot recommend this one enough. If like young adult fantasy is your genre, cannot recommend this enough. Please, please give it a try. It is amazing. I love it so much. The romance was so well done. It wasn't like forced. I kind of feel that some books, some young adult books, they kind of have a very forced romance. It just doesn't really speak to me. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But in this one, it works so well. It develops very slowly. And that is just what makes it so feel so real and genuine. And I absolutely love it. So, and luckily, my sister also has the sequel, which completes the series. And I've got it right here. I'm going to borrow it and I'm going to read it. And I'm so excited. So um, I'll keep you guys posted later in this video. But really, if this is your genre, please do yourself a favor. Give it a try. Watching stars align. They some making sweet honey, Melissa Lemon Bomb. Nights as warm as your breath, on my chest so calm.
Hi, cozy friends. Welcome. Why am I saying welcome? We're half of the video. Sorry. Anyway, I wanted to say uh, yesterday you saw that I was fixing my wall because um, one of my picture frames fell down and one of my little shells fell down as well. So it happened like, I don't know, a couple of months ago, finally fixed it. And in case you're wondering like, why the heck did you stick your photo frame to your wall? Why didn't you just like hang it? It's because I tried, I tried that earlier this year, but then I just couldn't really, you know, make them evenly spaced. They just kind of angled forward and it just, it looked awful. I didn't like it and I was sick of it. And I was like, you know what? I just stick it to the walls. But apparently I didn't stick that one good enough, but I did now. It's, it is stuck. It will remain stuck. It will never get unstuck ever again. Cool. So yeah, so I'm really happy with my wall, but I've actually Oh wait, I've actually added something new and I've got some other plants. Let me just switch the camera and then I'll show you everything. So this little cute sunflower plushie is new. I actually bought it at the uh, botanical gardens in my hometown where I like to visit a lot. And I think it is so adorable. It's so cute. So I really, really love that. And because of adding this, I got some, I got so many new ideas for my wall because it isn't quite finished if you ask me because i think that this space is a little bit empty so what i did yesterday is um yesterday i ordered some really cute maple leaves like fake ones of course so i want to add those over here to fill up the space and then later when it's christmas i'm going to order some lights you know want to add them as well along with the with the maple leaves it's just going to look so cute so i'm really excited about that um, then I've got some space over here, but I think I want to move this one up there because as you see, oops, sorry, as you see, I've got these two little holes and I don't really like that they're still showing because, uh, well, before there was other stuff attached to that, but I removed that. So anyway, um, so I want to buy something else that is like a little longer that just hangs over here. It can be too long because I don't want to like drape it behind this little light because that would look a little bit weird but anyway it's gonna be so cute it's gonna be so cute and i've still got little space here and of course a little space here and i'm thinking of adding some stuff to the corners maybe some other stuff i'm not sure yet but yeah i've got lots of inspiration oh and i've still got a little bit of space here so i don't know maybe a super tiny picture frame i'm not sure yet but yeah, I'm, I'm feeling inspired and I'm so excited. So my wall is getting better and better. So yeah, so those are my plans. So yeah, I've got lots of inspiration and not just for my wall, but I've got lots of ideas for new vlogs as well. So I'm going to write them down in a minute because I'm going to forget everything. Always end up forgetting stuff. So I'm going to take some notes in a minute. Also, seeing this one, little kitty, it just reminds me of Natsuki. I actually played again with her earlier today with her toys and she is so precious, she is so adorable. Like there was one moment that I, I was playing with her and then suddenly she was just lying there on the floor and she was watching, her gaze was shifting between the toy that was on the floor and me and her gaze was shifted back and forth, back and forth as though she were waiting for me to do something again. It was so cute and then I just picked it up and I just threw it somewhere and she dashed off instantly so cute it's lots of fun i never knew like having a pet like a cat or a dog i guess um could be could be so incredibly fun and super relaxing yeah i think it's actually good for my mental health to have a pet i really do i really do i'm so happy she came to our lives but anyway uh, like i said before i will make a special cat vlog natsuki vlog very very soon and then i will tell you the entire story of how natsuki came into my life so um anyway but i like i said at the start of this video i'm just in a much better place again and the reason that i'm getting so much more inspiration is because the thing that i was doing before was that i was really trying to stay on top of new game news like what games will be releasing and when and i just felt like i had to buy every new game that released to just kind of join the hype on youtube and uh, sometimes i do not mind and sometimes i really enjoy that but I don't really want to feel forced because, you know, this channel, the Cozy Hermit channel, it is not just a gaming channel and it's not about the newest games updates and that kind of stuff. 
it's also like a home channel it's a lifestyle channel and i i have to remind myself sometimes to f that it's okay to focus on that as well instead of just gaming i love gaming it is a huge part of my life but i love showing my daily life as well like i'm doing in this vlog i am enjoying making this vlog so much it is so much fun so i want to add more content like this on this channel and um yeah i'm hoping you guys will like it so anyway on that note i'm going to write down my ideas and then i guess i'll catch you guys again tomorrow um it's a beautiful day today and it's going to be a beautiful day tomorrow as well according to the weather forecast so i hope the weather gods will still like me tomorrow um and i'm going out with my sister we are probably going back to the botanical gardens again we're going there a lot and then i'm going to take my book with me and i'm just going to read a bit and that is where we will talk again so um yeah going to write down those ideas right now let's do it We are a couple of days later. Um, I actually meant to film this part of the video yesterday, but I just didn't have the energy. So um, that day trip, uh, I took you on when I went to the botanical gardens and I just read what it was read and like chat with my sister. It was really, really cozy. It was a great day. But then at the end of the day, I felt a little off. I felt super duper tired and I had a headache. I think I was suffering from a mild heat stroke. I actually got a little bit sunburned in my neck. I don't think, yeah, you can see it, can't you? Yeah. So uh, it's, it isn't the worst, but uh, I applied sun lotion. I did everything right. And yet I still managed to get sunburned. But yeah, that's the story of my life because my, my skin is super duper pale. So yeah, I am prone to sunburns. But anyway, uh, so I felt really bad yesterday. I felt so incredibly tired. I just felt a little bit, 
I know, a little bit ill. Um, but anyway, ever since last night I've been feeling better and then I had a really good night's sleep and now I feel like me again, I feel great, I feel fine. So I can finally start filming again and today I am going to check out the demo of a game called The Sea of Stars, which is a fantasy RPG really heavily based on your traditional JRPG and it has been made in a beautiful pixel art style. It looks amazing and I'm really curious. Uh, one of my friends on Instagram actually recommended this game um, and yeah, the moment I saw the first screenshots, I was like, wow, that's really interesting. And as she said, there's a demo. So I'm finally checking it out. It'll release in a week, I think, next week. So I won't have to wait very long if I like it. So I'm just going to check it out. I'm really excited. I'm actually really in the mood for a nice RPG. So uh, let's just play. And by the way, by the way, first, before we start playing, check out my new fub cribs. They're little cat skulls. Aren't they cute? I love them so much because I'm really getting in the Halloween mood, autumn mood. So I saw these and I was like, I absolutely love them. They're from Geekshare, by the way. They got them from Amazon. So yeah, if you're interested, definitely check them out. Um, I can link them down below in the description box if you like. So I'll do that. Anyway, let's just check out the demo of the Sea of Stars. So I finished the demo and wow, I did not expect this. I was like, I was going in and I was like, it's probably going to be fun, but it is like super fun. Wow, it's really, really great. Um, I really love the pixel art. It is really detailed. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. I'm actually really excited that more pixel art games are making a like a comeback these days uh, because it just makes me feel super nostalgic and I just, I don't know, I like pixel art. So um, also another thing I really like about this game is the music. It's really good, especially the battle teams are like super catchy. I really like it. Another thing is like that there are actually puzzles you need to solve in order to progress through a certain area. They're quite challenging sometimes, but not like in an annoying way that you're like, oh my God, I can't ever solve this. It's like, it really stimulates you to just find the solution. It's lots of fun, it's lots of fun. Also the combat. Waiting for the noise to pass. Also, the combat is really super fun. Again, it's super fun. It is really refreshing. It is uh, turn-based, just like in the old-fashioned RPGs. Uh, but it doesn't feel outdated. It's refreshing. It's really, it's really fun. So I really like this take on turn-based battle system. Yeah, what else can I say? Also, oh, you can fish in this game. I love fishing in games. I don't know why, but I just love it. And it's a really fun fishing mini-game. Um, it kind of reminds me a little bit of how fishing works in Final Fantasy XV. So it's uh, it's challenging again, just like the combat system and puzzles, but it's so much fun. Again, everything is fun about this game. I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, definitely going to buy this one. Definitely. Don't even think I'm going to wait for a sale. I think I'm just going to buy it. It, it will be out in a week. Less than a week, I think six days. It's the 23rd today and it will release on the 29th. So 
excited i'm really excited for this i'm definitely getting this one it's only 35 euro so i think that's like not super duper expensive for a new game um it is an indie game i read up about it before i started playing it if i remember correctly it's been made by developers indie developers in, based in canada and they are heavily inspired by the more old-fashioned jrpgs um, you can really notice that and i absolutely love it it just feels in a weird way it feels familiar but it also feels brand new so i'm really excited i uh, want to know more about the story about the characters and i just want to play this game so much more so definitely buying this one sea of stars definitely if you enjoy jrpgs if you're like on a nostalgia kick definitely check it out definitely just check out the demo it's free you can play it and let me know what you think in the comments down below i'd love to hear it so um yeah i think i'm going to wrap up this video here because we've been spending quite a bit of time together i still need to edit everything right now i'm thinking this video should at least be 20 minutes maybe even 30 you will see we'll see um if you're watching this you already know anyway like i said um gonna wrap this up just wanted to say that i am so excited to be back again i've had so much fun making this vlog and more are coming because i have so many ideas so many ideas um excited to be back and i hope that you're all doing well uh, let me know feel free to just leave comments down below in the comment section i am always reading them and um i always love talking to you guys so Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching if you've made it all the way through to the end of this video. And um, if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in the next video as well. And until we meet each other again, as always, stay cozy.